And now we are hearing more from the crew of the sensation. None of your side sports reporter Garrett Short brings us their story tonight. Saturday was a day of highs and lows for the sensation crew. It was pretty cool until uh, we hung the fish up and then uh, things started to go sour. Despite the fish being weighed in as 619.4 pounds, McCoy and his crew had to wait until Sunday morning to hear that their fish was disqualified due to International Game Fish Association rules that state a fish bitten by a shark is mutilated. This is where the sensation is ready to fight back. The Big Rock's not an IGF FA tournament anyways. Uh, they have several rules that don't coincide with IGFA rules. McCoy says following some IGFA rules and not all, leave too much room for interpretation. Additionally, the wording of mutilated has become a point of focus for both the sensation and also fans that have rushed to defend the local crew. And we have the example of the uh, top dog in 2019. That fish was totally mutilated, halfway destroyed, had bites in it as well as uh, they couldn't get it on the boat, so it was hanging out and they got uh, exhaust uh, damage to it. So why do we enforce a rule now and not then? The sensation has filed a protest of the decision. Money aside, it's also about principle for McCoy. The Big Rock is about competition, and those that win are immortalized, and his shot at that was disqualified. There's only a few winners of the Big Rock, and it would have been really cool <laughs> to be one of them. Now, I think there's some people, a whole lot of people out there that do think we are the winners, uh, but still in a year's time, you know, it'll probably be forgotten. But for those on the sensation, there will be no forgetting the near win or the fish that nearly got them there. Reporting in Moorhead City, I'm Garrett Short.